Okay, so my first impressions of Black Ops 2. I mean, obviously, if I'm doing an impressions video, it's because I have the game. How did I get the game? I got it off of Craigslist. Um, I pretty much just kind of put my information in there saying I live in this area. I'm willing to pay this much. And then uh, I got tons and tons of texts on my phone. I was able to negotiate a good price. I went to a really shady area in downtown Los Angeles. I mean, I was worried. I thought I was going to be killed or who knows what could have happened, right? Jumped mugged um not raped i'm a grown man you know and fight anybody out but anyway all right so the game the game itself oh. now you know i guess before i go into this what i should really kind of point out a couple of things although in my videos i try to make it come across that i'm a really like, positive and upbeat guy i think I, I i am in real life but when it comes to video games i oftentimes will see the negative and even in my job, you know, oftentimes I'll see the negative. It's kind of my job to tell people what they don't need. Like if they say, oh, I need a new computer. I'm going to kind of troubleshoot and figure out, no, this is why you don't need a new computer. Or I want this software. And I, it's my job to kind of first let them know why, you know, why that particular type of software is not beneficial. It's a waste of money. And that's kind of what my job is. That's what I do for a living, more, more or less. So... Having said that, also, when when the newest COD comes out, I never really like it that much. I, I just When Black Ops first came out, I went back and played Modern Warfare 2 for probably a month. Then went back to Black Ops, got into it, and, went, and, and liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. Same thing with Modern, War, Modern Warfare 3. When that came out, I played it for a night or two, then went back to Black Ops always saying that black ops was a superior game and then i went then eventually i made the migration over to modern warfare 3 so now black ops 2 so obviously right it's a trend right same thing's gonna happen but this time i you know i thought i could have a really open mind about it so i'm not going to kind of criticize things that i would normally criticize because i know a lot of the reasons why i'm overly critical of this game is because i have no map knowledge i have to relearn things and eh, i don't really like that you know, basically my gameplay and, and the fun factor more than anything for me is kind of knowing spots on maps. And, and it, that's a fun part for me. You know, I, I know what I'm doing. So it doesn't always go the way I want, but at least I know I have a chance if, if I follow my game plan. Right now, I'm going to talk a little bit about this game and if it's good, bad or my my impressions of it. I mean, nothing's final what I'm saying. It's my opinions. Right. Uh, the game. It is so connection based, man. I mean, Literally, if you don't have a good connection, you better practice up on your zombies, dude. You know, because um, you're not going to do well. You're just not. It, it is so connection-based. So th that's a real downside, you know. Although I complained a lot about the lag comp in Modern Warfare 3, I was able to make it manageable. And uh, this one, oh man, the host is going to destroy you 9 times out of 10. The maps themselves... It's weird, you know, they're like small, but with a lot of head glitch spots. A lot of places, even on the small map, where you could kind of stay in a room even on the second floor and kind of do work. And what, what the most frustrating thing about all these head glitch spots behind crates and boxes and cars and all that, is it's not like a normal head glitch, you know, where you can kind of see the guy's whole head most of the time. At least you have a, sh a chance if you're a really good shot to, to get him. But these head glitch spots are really weird because you could only see like the tip of their head. You know, I mean, there are like 99% hidden behind that. It makes it extremely difficult. You have a lot of things going against you. A lot of things going against you. Uh, can you do really well? Yeah, you can. And uh, I've been host, I think, a couple of times in this game. And when I was, I was winning gunfights that I, that, I, that I never came close to winning before. And it was almost like unfair. It didn't give me this sense of gratification, like, "Hey, I'm better than that guy. That's why I won." I knew I won because I was host, and that's just the way. It w that's just the way it was. So, do do I like the game? I really, uh, I'm kind of iffy on it. it. It's just the map layouts I don't really like. I played a lot of Kill Confirmed because I was playing by myself, and I didn't want to go against full parties. Yeah, believe it or not, there's people running full parties already, and the game even ha the game hasn't even been released yet. Thus far, I would say that Modern Warfare 3 is a better game. A, a funner game to play, definitely a more entertaining game to watch, without a doubt. Uh, this game, it, it, it's weird, but 
it's kind of like your point of view is zoomed out, like it's a wider point of view. And I remember thinking that too when I went from, from Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops. Like it seemed different, you know? Like Modern Warfare 2 seemed like you were, everything was closer. The characters, the enemies were bigger. And this one seems kind of, it's back to being zoomed out again, which takes, at least for me, takes some getting used to. Would I get, I wouldn't worry too much about getting the game early, to be honest with you. I, I, if I was a young kid and had other things that I wanted to play, I would play those and wait till Christmas and get this game. I really would at this point. Maybe by then, all the connection issues will be kind of ironed out. Maybe they'll make some adjustments. I don't know. Th that's the odd thing, is a lot of the adjustments... When it was when it was uh, Modern Warfare 3, I know what they had to do. The game was fine. The spawns were messed up. Um, the light compensation was wacky. You know, it, it punished the host more than helped them. So you can kind of say, okay, once that gets straightened away, it'll be a good game. With Modern Warfare 2, it was kind of like, oh man, you know, danger close, one winner an army. If that was the way, it'd be a really good game. With this one, on the other hand, I mean, how are they going to change the the head glitching on the maps? How are they going to make it so if somebody's behind something, you can actually see them? I don't know. I, I really don't. I'm assuming it's going to get, you know, better. They're going to make little tweaks here and there. The menus of the game, it's, it's a beautiful game. It's bright. It's not a depressing game to look at. It's it's a happy, cheery game to look at. The menus are beautiful. The way it's laid out is polished as all hell. They did a great job with that. However, a lot of downsides to it so far. Not I'm not really, really impressed at all. But it's new. And I can be kind of negative. So let's hope that it gets a lot better. Let's hope the more I play, the more I fall in love with it. I don't know though, man, to be honest with you. Even when I played combat training, it's like the death animation. I can't stand the death animation. It's too long. It's like almost like the death animation would occur when I died before the bullet even hit me. It was really weird. You know, I don't know how to explain. Just weird things. And I don't think that had anything to do with lag or anything. But those are my kind of first impressions of the game. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully I wasn't too negative. I did say a lot of negative things. But um, that's kind of the way I'm built, man. This has been serious drama. Hopefully you like the new background. A gentleman by the name of Hutch Designs made it for me. He makes the best backgrounds on YouTube for a lot of much, much bigger YouTubers than I am. Hit him up. He can definitely, definitely make your channel look a lot better. All right? Be kind. Be good. Be safe. I am out.